same way with a legend awakening. To centipede. This is a childhood game of mine that is pretty fun and I have not played in over a decade now. Probably longer. So I hope you join me in this playthrough of Centipede. As well as my other playthrough that's coming out, Qbert, another childhood favorite of mine. Anyway, let's go. World Weedum level the Firth of the Fifth. Level 1. Weedum Mission 1, the Firth of the Fifth, the Centipedes and their cohorts have already raised a number of buildings in our city by the river. Rush to save the survivors with all speed and defend the buildings which still stand. The very survival of our people depends on the dexterity of your trigger finger. Defend houses, rescue we people. Your shooter is equipped with an automatic magic relocator to help you rescue your brethren. Just bump into them with the shooter and they'll be teleported to safety. When the word came down that the legend had come to life, we built the shooter. But we needed a hero to fly. <laughs> This year, the magic stick didn't point to the usual heroes. It pointed to Wally. Now, Wally wasn't one of the usual heroes. In fact, he wasn't a hero at all. He was just a simple bean counter. But when you're asked to save the world, you don't ask why. You just make it happen. That's perfect. It's amazing. Wally. I wonder if he's related to Where's Waldo? Because he looks very similar. Wally Guzmanson. I think that's what it says. So the f FPS is going to be very low. As once again, this was a very, this is a very old game, um, built for the PlayStation One. So don't expect top-tier FPS or graphics or anything of the sort. And this is actually what it looks like um, with an emulator boosting it. I have the game. I legally have the game. It's just. I, I try to use the emulator to um, make it look even better. Um, 
But, yeah, this is the best it can do. It's not like to the extent of something like Spyro, where the creators of Spyro, like, really used as much technology as they possibly could at the time. I don't think they had that much, um... For, for the centipede game. Plus, again, it's it's a centipede game. It's not like it requires that. Oh, why did I do that? I thought he was going to jump the other way. It's not like centipede requires that much graphical prowess. Although it would be neat to see what this would look like in um, modern day graphics. It, sh it wouldn't even take that long to recreate, you wouldn't, you wouldn't think. It's not a, it's not an open world game, so it wouldn't take many years. Probably wouldn't even take over one, really, depending on who was working on it. Okay, that's everybody, right? Yes, that is everybody. And if you're having a hard time, try to shoot down um, as much mushrooms as you can. Sometimes you can reach it from platforms before it starts. Sometimes you can't. They thought about that process. As you can see, they put these in place so that you couldn't do that. But sometimes, yeah, sometimes you can reach a couple. That's if you're having, like, you're really struggling and the mushrooms are getting in the way and stuff. Just shoot them all down as quickly as you can. And always get the flashing mushrooms because they have um, super powered um, to your gun and other stuff in later levels. I'm not going to focus on trying to save the people if I can actually get, uh, make sure that everybody, all of the uh, enemies stay away from them. I should be okay with leaving them. Oh, spider. Sometimes it's safe. Um, it's sa it's better to leave the spiders to themselves for a while um, because they destroy mushrooms, and that really helps. Um, also, if you press uh, circle on a PlayStation controller, anyway, um, that jumps. So now I got an extra life, and I got armor, even though I don't need the armor anymore. Did I lose a person? Oh yeah, there's also this uh, first person view. Did I lose a person somehow? Or did I collect eight? Maybe there was only seven. I don't even know. I don't see any bad mushrooms. Well, who knows? Let's see. Let's find out if I saved everybody. Oh, okay. There was only seven. And if you save everything in a category, you get an extra life. Since I saved all the buildings and all the people, I get two extra lives. So it's nice. Mr. Oops. Falliors. Gaming. MFG. There you go. There is level one complete. So these are going to be quicker videos, but it should be um, very fun um, to get through and to watch. Oh, hopefully, anyway. We'll see. But I will tell you in later levels when I start get, finding um, difficulty beating them, I will not cut it out like other people do from their videos. You will watch my failures. 
so however long it takes for me to beat it is how long the video is going to be anyway thank you so much for watching please also um, support my other playthrough that's going to start tomorrow Qbert so stay tuned for that please like the video subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time bye